Hello everyone, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome back to the Merthyr Town save for Football Manager 2017. Now as you can see on, this, on the screen right now in front of us, teams secure playoff spots. So I've had a few games since the last episode and Basingstoke and Merthyr Town have guaranteed themselves a Southern League Premier Division playoff. So the good news is that we've achieved our targets for the season, which was to get in the playoffs, finish in the top five. We've done that lovely stuff. Bad news is, I don't think we're going to win the title, guys. don't think we're going to win the title. If I show you the Premier League table, the Southern Premier League table, Kettering at top on 89 points. We're third on 77. So, of course, the most points we can gain is nine. And third on 89, it's just, it's not going to happen, is it? Let's be honest. We've got the playoff spot, guys. So that's really good. We've, we've made some progress. I got some good news as well. The board have actually offered me a new contract. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... Right here, we'd like to put pen to paper on the one-year contract extension for June 2018. Um, and it tells you what I've got. Promotion wage rise, relegation wage drop, and then percentage of club competition required for managerial role. They also agreed uh, some terms for next season as well. If I can find it, but here we go, but here. Transfer budget of £675 and a wage budget of just over £3,000. I think I can work with that. So things are looking good on that front. I've also set a couple of my Deadwood players um, to be released in the summer. And I've also offered some new contracts as well. Got some bad news though. I mean, my best go play my best player, Liam Matthews, my goalkeeper, is actually injured. He got injured in between the last episode and this episode. He's got a twisted ankle and he's out for four to five weeks. So he's going to miss the playoffs completely in the, in the end of the season. We've also got Jay Colbeck, who you know has been injured for a while. He's out for another four to five months. He's been out for, I think, eight months in total. Um, and I'm missing these players badly. Some of the results I'm getting are quite poor. It's, it's a bit, bit of a mixture, really. So I think we had the Dorchester game in the last episode where we lost 1-0. We then bounced back with a win against Leamington. At home, Kane McLaggen with a goal for us. Then we played Sarancester a few days later, and we lost home 3-1. Very disappointed with that result. Bounced back with an away win against Chesham. 2-1 goals from Elliot Scotcher and Ryan Prosser. That was followed up by a home draw 2-2 with Cambridge City with Rafael and Luke Connolly getting his first goal of the club, after the club. Then we had Hayes, Yedi, or Hayes and Yedding away. We won 3-1, two goals from McLagan and one from Trailer. And then recently we played Dunstable and we lost 1-0 at home. I was really gutted by this. So it's going to be a playoff. So what am I going to do in today's episode, guys? I'm going to be showing you the Cinderford away match. That'll be the last game I show you. And then we'll have a quick recap then of the Hitchin and Weymouth game in the next episode. And it'll be a playoff special, basically, in the next episode. And then we'll see how it goes to me, guys. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the football field. Okay, guys, so welcome back. This is the team I've gone with. I've gone with the traditional 4-3-3. We've got McLagan, Rafael and Trailer, Weston, Taylor, Scotcher in the midfield, McDonald, Connolly, Tancock, Davis and Garner in goals. So let's submit the team and crack on with the game today against Cinderford. We'll keep an eye on the other results as well. It'd be nice if we could finish second. I mean, first is out of the question, but if we could finish in second place, that might give us some good momentum going forward just to see how things go. Just skip that for the crack on with the match and let's see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. We're now trained, uh, 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 our changed orange strip for today's game. Good ball. Weston's in here for Merthyr. Weston. Oh, you bugger. You just blasted over the bar. That's no good for me. They've had no shots. We've had six. They've had nothing. That's uh, that's good stuff, guys. No shots at all. Scotcher to Rafael. Rafael across to Weston. Weston, great ball by Weston over the top. McLaggen's in. McLaggen for Merthyr. And he has scored again. McLaggen's on a good bit of form for Merthyr. His 15th goal of the season. And Merthyr take the lead to away to Cinderford. Cracking finish by McLaggen there. Good stuff. Little ball into Lee. He plays it back, but it's been intercepted by McLaggen. Okay, McLaggen. Into Scotcher. Elliot Scotcher. Nice ball through to Weston. Weston with a cheeky ball into Trailer. Trailer's in now for Merthyr. Ian Trailer. Beautiful cross, and Rafael can tap it in for 2 0. Great, great goal for Merthyr there. Well, we've got the 17th goal of the season for Kay and Rafael. It's a good season for us. And beautiful stuff. Little ball over the top to Trailer. Trailer picks it up. Little dink to the far post, and there was Kay and Rafael for the tap in. McDonald with a throw for Merthyr. Finds Kay and Rafael. Rafael back to McDonald. McDonald whips it in. Oh my god. Against the crossbar. 
Thought he scored then. That would have been quite funny if he had. Trailer onto the ball. Crosses it. Good ball in. Rafael with a shot deflected and is in for three. Okay, and Rafael with a deflected shot gets his 18th goal of the season. We're playing really good stuff, guys. This is the best life common thing I've ever had in this series. Okay, and Rafael with the volley. A trailer just down right hand side. Crosses it in. Goes into Rafael with the left footed volley. Comes off the defender and into the back of the net. I don't care. Happy with that one. 3 0. Ball comes in. It's been cleared by Scotia. Comes out to Hamilton. Hamilton to Tinsley. Little flick to Shepard, but Taylor can intercept. And there we have it, guys. 3 0. Probably didn't show too many highlights there, guys. It wasn't the best of matches. Um, we were on top. There wasn't too many highlights, though, so it'd be quite a short highlight reel, I imagine. It's good to say we're pleased with the outcome. Well done, lads. I'll, I'll do. So a third in the table with two games to go. So we obviously can't get top spot, as I as I said. Uh, Kettering actually lost to Basingstoke, unfortunately, for us. So that does mean that we do move down the pecking order slightly. Let me just check. Clemson have now got a playoff spot as well. Rafael is on form for Merthyr. So we actually win third. We could get second place, obviously, if results go our way and if we can win our last two games. We could also drop down to fourth. We can't go lower than fifth, though. So we're obviously going to finish in the top four. Second, third, or fourth place is what we can finish on. Uh, so what I'll do, guys, once we get our uh, situation where we get our playoff spot, I will let you guys... Well, I'll show you guys the playoffs, obviously, live. And then, hopefully, we can get promotion. Anyway, guys, I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.